to another painting tutorial on how to paint Armorium Cherubs. For this tutorial you will require a pot of Magos Purple, Gilliman Flesh, Apothecary White, Basilicanum Grey, Skeleton Horde, Blood Angels Red, Talisar Blue, Grey Seer, Althuin Grey, Flayed One Flesh, Iron Warriors, Iron Hand Steel, Retributor Armor and Liberator Gold. So the very first colour we're going to use is Gilliman Flesh, and this is for all of the cherub skin. Uh, you could use any of the flesh paints if you that you wish for you know the kind of uh, level of shade that you want. But I'm going with Gilliman Flesh because I want to get that nice kind of soft baby-like skin, uh, and Gilliman Flesh is the palest. So using my medium layer brush, I'm just going to take some on my brush, and I'm just going to start painting this Gilliman Flesh all over all the skin parts of the cherub, like so. I'm going to make sure to get right in there. Once that Gilliman flesh is dry, we're going to give the wings a good thick coat of apothecary white. And so we just take some on our brush once again using a medium layer brush, and we're just going to start throwing this apothecary white all over those wings, like so. Just going to concentrate our brushes strokes to where the majority of the feathers are, so up here at the top of the wing, and then kind of pull the contrast out to give us a kind of a smoother finish on the on the longer, larger feathers. So once again, just on this side, we keep our contrast here at the top, and then we just start pulling it out like that, just following the design of the wings. Once those wings are dry, we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to paint in all of the silver parts. And on this one, this is places like this large ring that he's holding. And also these cuffs. And the chain. Once all that Iron Warriors is dry, we're going to use some thinned down Retributor armor to paint in all the gold details. And for this, this is going to be things like these ornate clasps on the chain, like that, and also the halo around his head, like so. I'm also going to do some retributor armor around the casing of this sensor. Once all that retributor armor is dry, we're going to paint in all of the bone and parchment. And for this, we're going to be using skeleton horde. So we just want to take some on our brush. And we're just going to start with the skull here. We're just going to start painting this skeleton horde all over the skull helm or head, it's a little bit unclear. Start painting that all over this. It's probably reasonable to assume that it's just the baby's head because what could be more Warhammer 40,000? Anyway, once that part is done, we're just gonna do the back of the skull as well, back here. And then for the parchment, take a little bit more on our brush. We just want to very quickly and carefully make contact with the model and just pull it down like that. And make sure we get into all the corners with it. Similarly again, just down here, make contact and pull. With that skeleton horde applied, we're now going to do all the cables. And for this, I'm going to be using Blood Angels Red. So that there's a trailing cable just here. And 
And for our last base coat, we're going to paint the wax seal on any of the purity seals that we can see with Magos Purple. This one's just here on the ring. Like that. Now all of those base coats have been applied, where it's time to shade the model. And for this, we're gonna be using some Basilicanum Gray. And this is for all the metallic parts. So we just wanna take a little bit of it on our brush, and then we just wanna start painting it over all the gold and all the silver, just like this. And you wanna be careful around all the details that we don't wanna get this Basilicanum Gray on. But if you do make a mistake, just neaten it back up with Grace here, and in the color that it's supposed to be. So like if I got it all over this parchment paper here, I would put some gray seal down and then go back over it with Skeleton Horde. With that Basilicanum gray applied, well, the model's looking very nearly finished and we could leave it there, except we're not going to. We're going to do a couple of extra things just to make the model pop a little bit further. And the first thing we're going to do is going to use Ulthuan gray. And this is going to be to just put a layer of extra white on those wings. So I've got some thin down on my palette. I'm just gonna take some on my brush. I'm just gonna pick an area to start. And so I'm gonna start here on the back. And I'm gonna start at the base of the spine. So I'm just gonna start painting this ulcer and gray all over these wing feathers like this, but just leaving where the apothecary white has shuttled in the recess like this with that old and gray applied we're now going to add some skin highlights and for this we're going to be using some flayed one flesh and all we want to do here is just pick out the raised details of all of the skin so like down here on his arm there's a there's a bit there's like a little crease just there so we just want to apply a little bit of this Blade one flesh just there. Similarly on the knuckles and on the fingers down here. With those flesh highlights applied, we're now going to do some metallic highlights. And for this, we're going to be using some thinned down iron hand steel. And this is just going to be for all the silver details, including this little lens here. We're just going to put some all over that so that when we apply our contrast to it it gets that really nice bright shiny feel but other than that we're just going to find all of those bits that we want to be brightened up with the silver including all these little nodules in the skin that you can see dotted all over the models and we just want to pick out all of these edges like this with the iron hand steel and next up, we're going to add some Liberator Gold to all of the sharpest points of those gold details. So like on the halo, we're just going to add it along the tips of the spikes. And then down here on this bit, we're just going to add a little bit as an accent to the tops of these things. And lastly, we're going to add a little bit of Talisar Blue over the lens on the eyepiece there. Like that. And with that, the cherub is complete. And as you can see, I've also been using it across the other this method, I should say, across the other cherubs that I have in my possession currently. And as you can see, it, it, it works really nice and it looks nice and consistent and they look great when they're placed alongside each other in a, in a flock of cherubs. Um, I hope that's the plural. Um, yeah, so this is quite a lot of fun to paint. Very quick, very easy and very effective. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to create as many contrast tutorials as I possibly can um, and I hope everybody's staying safe out there which will date this video to the time of COVID-19. Um, yeah I hope everyone's okay and um, 
yeah, just kind of stay safe out there, guys. Keep painting. That's what you should do. Uh, like, comment, and of course, subscribe, as I've already asked. Um, I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, people.